I know you're a part of big, big venture of the AI journal. Yeah. Okay, let's talk about that and give our, yes, kudos to, to your colleagues over there because I do want to hear what they're all about and most importantly, global awards they will be running. This is such a fantastic endeavor. Can you please? Talk about oh, this. absolutely. absolutely. The AI journal is one of the most exciting things that I've seen for quite some time. And for those people who don't know what the AI journal is, it's an open source community. In other words, we have got the best of people in the world, particularly in the AI and data analytics space, but increasingly the emerging technology space. Those individuals are coming together using the technology, Irene, we were talking about a moment ago to create great value from great knowledge. Now, this is the values their own. The value is on the website. The value is in the content. The number of experts who have freely and willingly contributed insights across every aspect of every industry that I've come across in the AI, in the digital, in the artificial reality, the virtual reality, machine learning, the NLP space, just for the sake of growing an even greater community is absolutely fantastic. That is technology at its best allowing anyone across the world to contribute and to add value to the market and to each other just for the pure fun of it. So that's the space. Watch it. Oh, at this month, I have to say, as of two days ago, the AI Journal hit 25,000 users on LinkedIn who are really, really, really engaged. It's now up to over 100,000 views a month on the AI Journal websites. There's research reports. There's articles and absolutely everything you want from some of the best experts in the world. And we're celebrating that collective spirit and that collective genius, if I do say it, at the end of this year, where we're running the AI Journal Awards. And those are to recognize individuals and businesses and charities and young leaders and leaders that maybe have been around the industry for a little bit long, longer than me even, <laughs> in the AI data space, the emerging technology space, large businesses, small businesses. And you and I, for example, are on the panel. So there's a group of experts who've been there, done that, really understand what people are talking about, are watching and starting to see all these amazing awards come in. I have to say, forget who's going to win momentarily, to see the contributions, to see the submissions, and to understand some of the amazing things that people are producing and creating with the tech these days is a joy in itself. But we will end up with a winner. Like out of all these things, we will end up like, who is the young, the young or the best entrant in the AI data space in the world, do you know what I mean? And it is a global awards as well. So I have to say, I'm, I'm, you can get in my voice, I'm really excited about it. An open source community contributing massive value and deciding who in amongst that industry, this is the audience themselves, us as part of that community, deciding who wins. No vendor BS, no side agendas, nothing, nobody's paying for it. It literally is who is the best in a community uh, who has delivered the most value? Whose project is the most exciting? Who's contributing the best? Like that's exciting times. I, I can't wait for the next couple of months till we get to announce that as well. Absolutely, we will link. We will link all the links in this video, Kieran, because I do want the world to know about because I was so privileged to meet with Tom Allen, okay, and just seeing how the community is growing, how the presence is growing, and again, all the excitement. It is uh, contagious. It's absolutely contagious. So I will encourage my AI community, you know, the influencers, the company leaders, you know, to enter the world because anyway, just being part, just being part of something bigger than each company. This is fantastic that you're doing it. And yeah, I'm here to support it. Absolutely. Thank you so much. And look, yeah, I would really appreciate everyone jumping in and adding the value to that community. And if it's not the awards as well, like there's a lot of opportunities to write articles and contribute to the community just for the pure goodness of wanting to create the most valuable content out on the market. So please, please, please do, do enter the awards. But if you don't want to enter the awards and you want to contribute an article to contribute value to a brilliant community, please, please, please do so as well. And when you meet Tom, he is contagious in himself. He is so passionate about this open source community that it comes through in every single conversation. And he genuinely means it. And his passion makes me excited and passionate about this space as well. I love it. Absolutely, because tech is passion, okay? Mm. Starting something new from the ground is passion in a lot of ways. It takes diligence, it takes discipline, it takes a lot of talents, right? But it starts with a passion, that's my strong belief.
and you have something going there which is amazing so absolutely i will invite everyone to check the links and to really be part of that community in whatever shape or form you choose so kieran thank you so very much fantastic time today i love giving the audience a few takeaways okay in the end because kind of summarizing we talked about business value we talked about technology we talked about human aspect of automation or just business performance improvement so few takeaways you want to leave our audience with okay let me try then let me try mm -hmm. look uh, probably a couple of things uh, people transform businesses not technology if organizations invest in much as much in their people and get excited about their people and their people's experience as they appear to do with the technology, then we could have a winning formula here. The technology is not to replace people. Where does work the best is where it, you augment human intelligence with great robotics, with great AI, with great workflow, with great process mining. So remember to augment your workforce. Don't forget as well that a great technology experience, a great employee experience, and a great customer experience all go together. They're not mutually exclusive. And the last thing is COVID taught us that if we want to digitally transform because we needed to, then it doesn't take five years or three years or whatever else. It can be done almost immediately. If people want to work together, they can. By trusting your employees to work together, by allowing them and giving them the decision-making rights to engage with the business, each other, the customer, to make those decisions at the end of the edge of the businesses. If that worked in COVID, well, why can't it work any other time? The answer is it can. We learn by trusting and giving control that we got back value, trust, and output in spades. We got an absolute bucket load of it returned. So let's not lose all the good things that come out of the last year because there was good things and let's make sure we build not only this online digital community but let's focus on building the digital communities within our organizations and make sure our customers are really connected to us and let's push forward in a way that digital darwinism ensures there's more winners than there are losers and have fun doing it as well but don't forget your people in the middle of all of this process Thank you, Karen. Thank you so very much for this talk. So yeah, yeah, let's stay connected. And absolutely, we're here to do one big thing, right? To make people's life a little bit better, easier and just more productive. Thank you. Thank you so much. Pleasure. Delighted to be here.